the director of Spin Me Round. We have you down for a five minute interview and I'll give you access to record, but we will be recording on our end as well. Okay, and then you guys will send the recording? Yes. Okay, perfect. All right, well, uh, I guess I should start with my tag. Uh, Herb Stratford, Fox 11 KMSB and uh, KVOA uh, Fox Tucson NBC. Hey, Herb, how's it going? Good, how are you, Jeff? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. So let me just start by saying, you know, the 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 tone and the vibe of this film sort of reminded me of of like older Hollywood farces, if that sort of mm -hmm. makes sense. Sure. And, <laughs> and it just it struck me is because you you kind of think you know where you're going, but then there's just all these left turns and right turns, and you know you're sort of along for the ride, and and it's just sort of an interesting thing. Did that ever come into play? Like you were thinking about that as sort of a, a different genre that we haven't seen a lot of. Um, I don't think we 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 weren't specifically citing old Hollywood farces or screwball comedies or anything. I think um, if anything, there there wasn't sort of conscious effort to explore how you go from uh, like a under the Tuscan sun slash eat, pray, love, romantic comedy, woman finding herself and finding love, fish out of water story, um, slowly devolving into something more real and sinister that borders on a giallo. So that was maybe sort of the gradient that we were playing off of. But I think, you know, sensibility wise, I love all those old movies and I'm sure unconsciously they're seeping in despite anything I'm consciously doing. <laughs> no, that makes perfect sense. So this is the, I know you've collaborated with Allison on, I think four films so far or four scripts or whatever, but um, so, you know, I, I know there's certainly lots of sort of collaborations where somebody really feels comfortable in a certain vibe and a, sort of creating a certain kind of content, but you guys seem like you can just move across, you know, into different sort of different time periods, different genres in a way, when you think about the little hours and, and what's that like having a collaborator that's just, you're so in sync with that you can sort of explore those things. I'd say it's invaluable. Um, Allison's an incredible talent, obviously as an actress, and I've always been a fan of her work and um, being able to not only collaborate with her as a performer, but on my last two movies as a co-writer, um, it, it's, it's very powerful and it allows me uh, the ability to, first of all, having a, a co-writer in general is always really valuable as a writer because it could be such an isolating, lonely, terrifying existence, but then having someone else that you can kind of, you know, connect with and then know that that person is going to be on the other side of the camera and set the tone, I think, um, is equally invaluable. And so, uh, she's been an incredible collaborator. I think, you know, sensibility wise, we're very much in alignment. And I think, uh, just the amount of trust that I have in her as a performer and as a co-writer and as a producer um, can't be overstated. So you got, I mean, obviously, in addition to Allison and, and you know, your wife, Aubrey, uh, you have such an amazing cast in this film. How was that coming together, like getting all those people together? Um, I mean, I'll bore you with the, the details, but generally a lot of the people I work with, I tend to want to work with again. And the people I haven't worked with that I'm working with on this movie, or I'm, I've, I've been an extreme fan of. So I felt really lucky that they wanted to take a chance and be in one of my movies. And I'm just so fortunate to have, um, I guess, a stable of actors that I, I tend to work with multiple times that I'm also an extremely big fan of and love the idea that I get to try different things out with them and go to different places with them, literally, and also, I guess, figuratively. and. Um, you know, obviously like having great actors only helps your movie. And I'm lucky to have a crew of people that I think are so incredible. So yeah, it's incredible. Well, I think it just seems like, you know, I, I almost was thinking to myself, I want to see the outtakes. I want to see the making of, mm. I want to see the behind <clears throat> the scenes because I want to see more of how these people interact. And, you know, Molly, of course, anything she's in, she's just hysterical. And, you mm. know, how is that being with them? I'm really curious to know more about that. Like, like, were you stopping because everybody was busting up <laughs> or? Occasionally. Yeah. I mean, like Zach Woods is obviously a comedic genius and, you know, he would sort of throw out some stuff there that it, like, it's hard to keep a straight face. Um, I think it's, 
it's hard for me to know what it's like on other film sets other than the ones I visited for like a day or two. Um, but I generally work with a lot of comedic actors, even if I'm doing a dramatic film. Like my last movie, Horse Girl, was more of a dramatic movie. And majority of the actors in that ultimately were, were comedic actors. I, I value comedic actors so highly, but outside of the actual work that they're doing, like you said, on set, being with them, doing bits, hanging out, just having a sense of humor and being able to joke around is so valuable. And then, um, you know, other sets I've been at where they're more like dramatic movies with dramatic actors. It, it's not that it's a bummer. Obviously, it's like a dramatic movie, but there is just something, I guess, about connecting that it's a little bit, there's something like a little bit missing. And I, 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 my movies in general, I feel like although they always have comedy in them, they're not pure comedies. And so I've trusted these actors to be able to sort of inhabit roles that sort of bridge the gap between comedy and drama. And I think having that obviously has been beneficial, but at the same time, like when you're not actually shooting, hanging out and just having a good time, it's hard to beat people that are funny. And especially if they're all connecting on, on the same level and our kindred spirits. So yeah, it's a blast to hang out with these, this cast. Well, congratulations. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a delightful romp and I can't wait to see what you and Allison do next. So uh, congratulations on it. Thanks so much, Herb. All right, great to meet you. Good to meet you too.